Hi guys, my name is Yash and today in this video we will see how you can add a Google Map using the Google Maps widget of Powerpack add-on for Elementor and the Elementor plugin. Since we will be using the Elementor plugin and the Powerpack add-on for Elementor, make sure you have these two plugins installed and activated on your website. Ok, so before we can start a customization, let's first set up the Google Maps API key. For that go to Elementor and then go to Powerpack. Enter the Google Map API key and click on Save Changes button. If you do not know where to find the Google Maps API key, I'll leave a link in the description for the documentation that will help you setting up the Google Maps API key. Once uh, you click on the Save Changes button, you will see the message settings updated. Now let's go to the page where you want to add your Google Maps. I'll be adding my map on the Contact Us page. Alright, so open the page in the Elementor editor. Look for Google Map widget. Uh, make sure you see the double P icon at the top right corner. So that means power pack. Drag and drop that widget on the page. Once you do that, you will see the default map opening up. Now let's see how you can customize it. Starting with the addresses. You can add new address just by entering the latitude and the longitude of the location that you want to highlight. If you want to know the latitude and the longitude, just click on the link here and enter the location that you want. Copy the coordinates and paste them here. Further, you can change the address title if you want. And if you want to show an info window, you can enable it right here. You can change the description as well. If you want to open the info window on load, you can enable that option as well. If you do not want that, you can just disable it and the info window will open up when the user clicks on it. If you want to change the marker icon, you can do that too just by uploading the custom icon that you want. Just click on the marker icon custom option and then choose the image that you want. I'll go with the default option here. Now going further to the settings, you can change the zoom type. If you want an auto zoom, just go to the auto option. Or if you want to go with the custom zoom, select custom from the drop down list and use the slider to select the zoom for your map. You can also change the map type. So currently it is road map. You can choose satellite. So that will display the satellite display. You can choose hybrid which is the combination of both and you can also go with terrain. I'll go with the road map. If you want to customize your marker animation, you can do that too. You can go with the drop animation. Or you can go with the bounce animation. You can enable or disable these controls easily from the options. You can enable or disable street view, map type, zoom control, full screen, as well as scroll wheel zoom. Now coming further to the map style, Powerpack's Google Maps widget comes with various map styles. So this is the standard style. You can go with the silver design. You can go with the retro version. If you want, you can go with the dark mode or the night mode. You also get two other options, which is aubergine and the custom option. So for the custom option, you can go to the snazzy maps or map style, customize your design, copy the JSON code and paste it here. I'll go with the standard one. Now, once you are done with the settings, we'll move on to the style tab. Here, you can make all the styling changes that you want to your map. Starting with the alignment, you can change the alignment of the you can change the alignment of your map widget. If you want to customize the width or the height, you can do that easily from the options. For the info window, you get to customize the maximum width that will be displayed, the padding, title, as well as the description. Uh, let's start with the width. You can change the width easily. If you want to add a little padding, you can do that too. Further. You can customize the title by changing the color and the bottom spacing as well as the typography. And the same changes can be made for the description as well. Once you are done making changes, just go ahead and update the page and preview the changes that you have made. After making all the customizations, this is what our Google map looks like. If you are having any difficulty in seeing your Google map, then it's possible that your API key is not properly set up. For that, check out the link in the description for the documentation that will help you in understanding how you can set up your Google Maps API. Let me know if you face any problem by commenting it down below 
and if you guys found this video useful do subscribe to this channel thank you for watching